Kublai from Meghalaya and this is the most phenomenal view of Shillong city from Shillong peak viewpoint. So what are the top notch places to visit in Meghalaya? Well, for that you have to take a trip with me and I will take you to the most rapturous places. The first you will visit Umiyam Lake with me or the surreal Barapani Lake. Then I will take you to the Shillong viewpoint and after that you will travel with me to Elephant Falls and then to the abode of the clouds or the land of oranges Shirapunji. It's almost 6 o'clock now ready for the trip to Sohora. So Shirapunji calls us and we are off to Meghalaya. So this joyous trip is going to be an all cousins trip and we are all off to Meghalaya not only for visiting the grand places but also to attend the marriage of my niece. So not only you will get to see the panorama of Meghalaya but I will also give you a glimpse of a Khasi wedding because my cousins are half Bengali, half Khasi. So since I'll try to cover as much as I can of Meghalaya, uh, I'm going to divide my vlog into two parts. So this is the first part of my Meghalaya experience. So let's take a peek into the Khasi culture. The close-knit Khasi community is the largest ethnic group found in eastern Meghalaya and in certain parts of Bangladesh and also in some parts of Assam. They have a unique culture and their societal norms are different from most communities. So if we delve deep into the societal norms of Khasi tribe culture, we find a rich tapestry of egalitarian and matrilineal framework so in a world where patriarchy prevails it is rather rare to find a community that is built around women and matriarchy so this is a women's world in Meghalaya so even though the Khasi tribe has existed for centuries some say that they have even progressed further than most developed countries so in this matrilineal system, the youngest daughter in the family inherits the family treasure and the family name and their children take up the matrilineal surnames and the man or the husband has to come and live in his in-laws place. Meghalaya is dominated by twin huts in the Khasi language. The other sub-tribes bathe in the Khasi culture and are performed in all their ceremonies and festivals. So right now we are at the Umiyam Lake or the Parapani Lake which is the most frequented tourist destination. Umiyam Lake is a reservoir uh, located in the hills uh, 15 kilometers to the north of Shillong. And this was created by damming the Umiyam River in the early 1960s. So this river, apart from being a, a source of power generation, potable water and uh, irrigation, serves also as a breathtakingly beautiful tourist destination. So here at Umiyam, we reached at around uh, 10 o'clock and we decided to go to Rekinjai or the abode of Serenity which is a resort. But unfortunately since we arrived too early, it was not open for a day out or lunching. So we decided to take a break and visit the Orchid Lake Resort to get a glimpse of the Umiyam Lake Panorama.
its Varapani. And Varapani, in the hush of its presence, tells us the story of an unspoken beauty. Indeed, just look at the view. It is so surreal. It is so mystical. And at the same time, you know, there is a kind of uncanniness or bizarre. Why is it so? Because uh, according to the myth, the locals say that this Barapani river is actually uh, tears which has been shed by a woman. So there were two sisters and both the sisters got separated in this abode of clouds and one of the sisters started crying and she cried so much that her tears ultimately created this Barapani river or the Umiyam lake. But yes, this is definitely a myth. But myth, believe it or not, this place is full of serenity. This is indeed the abode of serenity. Beautiful. So the tourists can do a lot of kayaking, water cycling and boating here in the Lake Barapani. The distance of Parapani River from Kohati city via NH6 is 88.5 kilometers and it roughly takes 2 hours 27 minutes via road. So snuggled in the hilly area, this lake is as interesting as its name and lots of legends and myths are associated with this lake. Legends suggest that this lake is formed out of the tears of the deity and as I have said, two sisters, probably celestial or heavenly sisters, have come down from heaven to explore the abode of the clouds. But unfortunately, one of the sisters uh, could not reach Meghalaya, so the other, in search of her sister, cried out her heart and shed so much of tears that finally her tears created th this mystic lake Barapan. So this picturesque lake with its plethora of meats and traditions and beauty is making way to the global travelers and the government of Meghalaya is also taking initiatives to develop this area. So this picturesque paradise is for nature lovers and travelers seeking tranquility. There is no Wi-Fi in the midst of nature or in this forest. But I promise you, you will find a symbiotic link with nature and a better connection. Reading the fresh air and being soaked in pristine nature away from the cell phones and the internet nothing like it and there is poetry to be found in each and every detail aspect of nature if you strive to find it out that is so you know the poetry of the earth is never dead as Keats has rightly said and walking down this trail was sheer bliss as it was so peaceful when we were young, we never had the concept of resort. So we never got a chance of visiting Barapani in this way. This is, this is the first time that I'm witnessing Barapani, then also walking down the trails and really having the time of my life with my cousins. Indeed, wonderful. So when we climbed up the watchtower, the beauty was even more intensifying and we were totally absorbed in the beauty of nature and we were exalted. I felt extremely exuberant and newly alive. So beyond the veils of reality, there is a hint of the extraordinary. Some quiet and peace, my mind is at ease. Serenity is translucent in the stillness that I find myself. I see over my skin 
tracing tranquility in small patterns. I will greet the world with open arms and in the silence I find myself. And this tranquility is the doorway to a deeper understanding. So bathe away your aches in the morning dew. Breathe the fresh sunrise air and start anew. I feel like a poet here. I love to dwell in the forest wild where the giant pine trees pierce the sky. It's like a beauty spot where nature smiled. And definitely a fitting place to live and die. And that's how I felt as I observed the Umiyam River from the deck. If I could just take a brush and paint the mountains, the lake and the moors, I felt like splashing this natural beauty with the colors of my palette. The name Elephant Falls was given by the Britishers who discovered its existence in the heart of the mountains or the jungles of Meghalaya. So let us know about the curious case of its nomenclature. There was an eponymous rock on the side of the falls which eerily resembled an elephant and hence the nomenclature. However, this rock was destroyed during an earthquake in the year 1897 and the residual rock has been disintegrated since then due to the continual barrage of water falling from a higher altitude. In the local Khasi language, this waterfall is named as Khashait Le Pateng Khashu, which literally means the three-step waterfall. One must be very careful while visiting this waterfall because the stairs are very slippery and steep and the climb up is also quite tough. So you must, you know, preserve a lot of energy while visiting this waterfall. But I must say that this is worth a visit. The cascading waters of this falls looks like sheets of milk falling on the dark rocks. It was very crowded on the day we visited and we had to be very careful because the paths were slippery. We were very lucky because it was not raining and the day was bright and sunny and I would say that the best time to visit this waterfalls is during the summers and not on a, a rainy day actually.
Besides being blessed with spectacular views, this state of Meghalaya is also the abode of numerous waterfalls and so it is a must visit for the avid travellers. This cascading falls are really eye-catching in its beauty and the surrounding lush greenery makes it ideal picnic spots. So our next destination was the Shillong Peak and we were again very lucky to have a clear view. The Shillong Peak offers an enchanting 360 degree view of the city of Shillong with its numerous cascading waterfalls, the lush green vegetation, the pine trees and a part of the Bangladesh plains and the Himalayan range. It's indeed a breathtaking location perched on the mountain top and again we were so lucky to have a clear view of the city because it was again a sunny day and although it was almost 4 o'clock in the evening still we had a very clear view as the fogs were not disturbing our lenses. In most days, you will see the peak surrounded by dense fog because it is located at a very high altitude that is uh, around 6,449 feet above sea level. You can approach the Shillong Peak from Upper Shillong or Joai Road. And if you love trekking, then you must sure try the Cobbles Road trekking from Umkinjat Kinrat to the light core Shillong Peak. In Shillong, we stayed at Light Core, a spacious guest house uh, at the top of the Shillong Peak, and the view was just spectacular, and the food was so amazing. There was a real nip in the air at the Shillong Peak with the cold wind blowing and during the night it rained cats and dogs and so we were very apprehensive whether we will be able to really have a view of Chirapunji or not. But this rains really added some zing and tang to our trip because it mostly rained during the nights, cats and dogs. And during the daytime, it really was very bright and sunny. So, you know, we did not miss out a single thing.
It's morning, and how glorious a greeting the sun gives the mountains. That's for us to seek and explore. Beyond the mountains, more mountains. And every time I go to the mountains, I learn something. There are green vibes everywhere and looking at the tall pine trees, I feel like planting myself here for a few more days. It's like I'm getting back to my roots and you will find me beneath the trees. Breakfast time and after a hearty and wholesome breakfast, we decided to go to Lightloom. Lightloom is one of the untapped reservoirs of Meghalaya and it is the canyon of the northeast with its gorges and deep valleys. So we decided to go and explore Lightloom. And lately Lightloom has become the trendiest tourist hub of Meghalaya. Lightloom is indeed one of Meghalaya's magical treasures and I was indeed mesmerized by its sheer beauty. So unveiling Lightloom was opening Pandora's box. Tourist inflow in Lightloom is increasing day by day. But unfortunately, this paradise is getting destroyed. It's a duty to preserve nature. So I was really aghast to see the place littered with cans and uh, packets and water bottles. Tourists are really polluting the pristine environment. We really do have to learn a lot from the Western world about cleanliness and maintenance. There is a lot to learn from the Western world how to preserve and maintain cleanliness. So watching those dancing clouds folding and unfolding is indeed a lover's paradise. So indeed one of those rare misty mornings. So I am most indebted to Rajiv, my brother-in-law, for bringing us here all the way, driving from Kohati to Meghalaya and going as far as Cherapunji. And he has really explored all the off-peak destinations and we too explored those places with him. Truly ecstatic. And totally in love with the haze and the misty morning glaze. Truly ecstatic. Watching this divine artistry is indeed a spectacle to behold and one can never get bored of this view. I am so thankful that I had this opportunity to view this miracle of nature. So sometimes when you lose yourself, you end up in a beautiful place and this is just like that. So don't be afraid of the fog and mist. Weather here varies between heavy fog and pale sunshine. The weather here varies between dense fog and pale sunshine. Indeed, there is divinity in the clouds and revelations are found in the clouds too. Huh? So this is how the clouded veils unfold the charm of light loom. So happiness is sipping lemon tea and watching this vista so we wanted to stay in this place forever and ever and nature was really attracting us in a greater way so there is a great mystery lurking in these canyons and gorges and verdant valleys the plethora of Meghalaya's beauty is endless and please follow my part 2 vlog of Meghalaya and subscribe to my channel like and comment life on fleek.